Dad was one of the individuals that started the Unified Community Advisory Board with Tom Stubblefield, and they were trying to recruit more members to sit to become board members. So that was probably back in 1995, 94. And so I waited for a while before I actually jumped in with both feet. Um, I became the second vice president of the association. My dad was the president. He said, I don't have time for these meetings. You have to start going. So it was a direct order for my dad. Mm -hmm. Well, let me just say that we didn't see a lot of my dad when we were growing up because he was working three jobs. So when he retired, he jumped in with both feet as well and got very involved in the water contamination issue. So much so that he was going to Washington, he was going to national conferences all over the United States. And having an impact and having people's ear, he knew he had a voice to make these changes. And I think that's what put put us on the map like I did, because he was not afraid to speak up. My dad's philosophy is, don't just complain about something. Make the changes, find the solutions. And so that's what he was trying to do. He saw a need for, once upon a time, the government agencies met separate and the community met separate. So there was no true partnership. The left side didn't know what the right side was doing. So dad said, why don't we come together so we can hear what you're saying and then you can hear what the community is saying. Then we can help solve this and move it forward. His belief was rebuilding the trust because at that time there was no community trust. Nobody believed that it was being addressed because initially the powers that be, and I don't want to point any fingers, um, pretty much lied to the community. They didn't really tell us what was going on. They didn't they were upfront with, yes, we're going to shut these wells down, but not why they were shutting them down. So it became a huge issue. Uh, Lorraine Lee was part of the catalyst with my dad going, and she had a very strong voice as well. She was not a shy woman at all. And so that's why I'm glad that we were able to move the plaque forward and making sure that my dad's name and Lorraine's name were both on the plaque. And it's here at the Valencia Branch Library. Giving thanks to all the people that have involved, been involved since day one. I, I guess my, my memories would be of all my dad's paperwork when I would go visit him. And it was a family joke. You don't see Manny because he's too busy with meetings. My dad was always, always at meetings. And my dad didn't have access. This is, we're going way back before computers were really, before computers and cell phones. So my dad did everything longhand and with his little typewriter. So I'm very blessed to have been, my mom donated all my dad's notes to me. I don't know if it's a curse or a blessing because now I have tons more paperwork to go through. But just going through it when I have time, it's really amazing capturing the history of how all of this started. Having him jot down his little questions and his little notes and why are they doing it this way instead of this way. It's amazing what, how, what my dad captured and what he saved. So I get the paperwork, honestly, from my dad. You know, you have paperwork and you don't want to throw anything away because it might be important someday. 